woken up to the sound of peacocks. Actual sailing. Tiny Cat's just had her first vet's visit. Hi guys, welcome back. This week we pick up some friends, Ed and Rach, who were brave enough to sign up for several weeks of sailing, exploring and babysitting Tiny Cat. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this episode. A little update. We've come to pick up our friends and we're anchored in uh, just outside a marina um, in Aegina. Um, it's apparently really bad holding here and the wind's blowing us right into the quay. So I've stayed on board and I'm just literally <laughs> sitting on watch, just watching the, making sure the anchor's not dragging, ready to get on the motor and just hold position until Adam gets back with them in the dinghy. Um, but it's pretty scary. I don't like this at all. So um, just being, being down below for five seconds is scary. We don't seem to be dragging and the wind does seem to be dying off a little bit but um, oh, being on the boat on your own when you're not sure about the holding is just horrible. Um, I know it would be fine but I just, um, yeah, I don't know, I just don't like it. Tiny Cat's fine because we fed her some fish so she's all happy. Um, I think, yeah, I think we're all right, but we're gonna get out of this anchorage as soon as they arrive, so it's gonna be a bit of a grab and run <laughs> mission. We saw their ferry coming in, which was quite cool. Um, so yeah, we know they're here, and they saw us, they waved. Um, yeah, I just, just gotta hope that they get back before we drag anchor. But yeah, the wind's dying off, so I actually feel whew, a little calmer, I can breathe again. Boat life, yeah! Sat looking at our little line. Actually looks a bit like we are dragging from this line, but I don't think we are. I think we've just bounced back on our anchor actually, which is good. Can I have that name. red? Uh, can I have the red uh, yes. rope? That will yeah. make life a bit That's easier. Idea, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. There was so some... I hope, I hope we went too long. Good morning. The sun has risen. We've woken up to the sound of peacocks and some waves. <laughs> um, so yeah, the wind swung round. Um, overnight, I've been sleeping outside under the stars, so I wake up when the wind changes. <laughs> it's like a little alarm, and yeah, so we're, we're probably not in the best place right now. So we've got up pretty early, and we're going to move to somewhere that's more sheltered from these northwest winds that have come in. Um, but it was such a beautiful sunrise, so lovely. And we had such a nice evening last night. We had a few drinks with our friends and like the sunset was awesome. And there were peacocks and deers just on the little island over here that we're next to. Um, and we're the only boat here. The bay next door, which is less well protected than this one, is completely full. And this one is just empty. So it's just been really nice. The stars last night were amazing. So yeah, back sailing and feeling very, very lucky right now. Actual sailing. Thank you. 
Oh, and you're going to molest her? No, I'm not. I'm not going to disturb her. I'm just going to film her. Hi. We bought, look what we bought for Tiny Cat. This is a tiny gilet. <laughs> it's not a life jacket because you can't get ones that small. She's too little. But we figured if we put this on her, we can just hold on to her. We can just carry her around. You need to stitch a little we handle can... onto it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So we can just pick her up like but an attaché case. We can take her for walks in it as well. Yeah. She's going to hate it. She's going to hate it so much. But I think they get used to it. I think if we just persevere. Yeah, but they're very trainable when they're young, aren't they? We dropped anchor in the beautiful but busy town of Poros, which offered great protection from the coming high winds. We were excited to see some of our friends from the yard there too, and arranged to meet up and share drinks and stories about our experiences so far. Also, schöne Party! Okay! Tschüss! Tschüss, Alice! Tschüss! Okay, bis morgen, ja? Ja, bis morgen. Ja, okay. Bis morgen, ja? Haben Sie ein Talkshow? Who's singing are you taking? <laughs> Not all wooden. No wooden thingy. <laughs> Today we are hungover. I haven't had a hangover for a very long time. And today I haven't been able to leave the boat. Not even to swim in the sea. It's completely my own fault. But I feel very sorry for myself. How are you feeling, Rachel? Um, I felt better. Yeah, I've definitely felt better. But you did make it into town. I right. did make it into town and then I sat on the beach for half an hour. Because <laughs> it's just too much. Yeah. <laughs> What's the weather been like? Amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous here. It's beautiful. How's the wind been? Uh, do you know what? I haven't actually found it that windy. It's because you don't have a <laughs> sailboat. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't found it too bad though. It's going to get worse though, isn't it? <clears throat> it's just the start. It's just the start. Calm before the storm. Bring it on. Our German friend just came round in his wooden dinghy, which he's very proud of. And um, he was in the boatyard with us for a long time. 
and he like he was like the cat whisperer he just loved all the stray cats I would always find him at the bins feeding them he took several of them to the vets just to get them um, neutered or sprayed or spayed or whatever it's called just so that they couldn't um, go through the pain of childbirth then he put them back again because he because he can't keep them he rescued one and sent it home and then um, he was with us when tiny cat was meowing outside our boat and he persuaded us to keep her well she persuaded us to keep her really anyway we've just run into him in this anchorage and he's just bought around 20 quid and some cat treats so that we can take her to the vet he was like I'm, i really want to contribute towards her getting better it was just the, the sweetest thing tiny cats going to the vet this is going to be a short sharp shock for her i know she's never never been to a vet before doesn't even know they exist we found one we're gonna go get her her jabs and talk to them about pet passports and things did you put that big list in the bag We don't right. have a cat. Yeah, ask about a carry case. Yeah, it's all on the list, isn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Good luck. Right. Look after so, her. Take a tiny cat. They gave us a thing that you put on the back of her neck and she was fine after that. You put a spot on? A spot on. Oh god. It's not, I mean the pharmacist, it's in, illegal to sell something for the animals because she's too small for a spot on. Oh really? We, we just saw she had ticks. And... Yes, but we cannot put a spot on, it's such a young uh, animal. So Tiny Cat's just had her first vet's visit. She did amazingly well. She actually really liked the vet lady. She's like purring and rubbing up against oh, her. It, um, it, it got her a thermometer up the rear end, so I don't know how she felt about that. <laughs> she did incredibly well and the vet said she had a lovely temperament. It was one of the friendliest, nicest cats she'd ever seen. Aww. So she said she's doing really well. Um, she seems quite healthy but does have three conditions. Um, so she listened to her lungs and said she's got a lung infection, oh, no. um, which is why she's breathing so fast. Aww. So she, she's got antibiotics for that. She said she probably does have a gastrointestinal tapeworm. She said, is she eating? And I was like, yeah, but like, you know, not with great gusto, but like she seems hungry all the time. And she said, well, she is really skinny. Um, she's the right size, but a little bit skinny. Aww. So she reckons she's got a tapeworm and she gave us some horrible paste stuff to, for that. Made her throw up, poor thing. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Um, then she said she can't tell what the thing on her face is, but it could be ringworm. Okay. Um, so she's taken some samples of that, right. and she'll email us in a week to tell us that's what it is. And the vet put a little basket in the basket. Oh no! She's got a toy! <laughs> like a lollipop when you go. For being so brave. You, for being so brave. <laughs> <laughs> Did she up. say how old she is? So she said, yeah, she said, I can tell you almost without doubt that she's seven weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. She said, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's actually quite easy to tell the age of a cat. Seven weeks. Thanks for watching, and we really hope you enjoyed. For those of you who have just joined us, a warm welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified of our latest releases. We're a little behind with the editing, but you can see what we got up to last year on our website, togetlost.com. For early release videos and sneak peeks at Life Aboard, then head over to Patreon. As always, a huge shout out to our patrons and everyone supporting these videos and the website. Love to you all.